Hello children, I hope you all are doing well. This is Shweta Bajaj, your math teacher here and back again with the revision of chapter number one, knowing our numbers. But before starting, firstly, please like and subscribe my channel so that you get the video notifications on time. And while commenting, please don't forget to mention your name, class and section. And the PDF of the chapter is available at jmps.com. O -R -G dot in. Now, in the previous video, we did the revision of international and Indian place value system and we did some questions also. Now, today in revision, I have taken your exercise number 1C and question number 10 firstly. Now, question number 10 says that Mrs. Anita Sethi needs 3 meter 25 centimeter of cloth to stitch a kurta and 2 meter 35 centimeter of cloth to stitch a salwar. She bought 50 meters of cloth from the market. She receives an order to stitch 4 salwars and 3 kurtas. Will there be enough cloth? If yes, how much will be left? And if no, how much more will be required? So, in a solution, first of all, we will take cloth needed to stitch kurta. See, how much cloth is needed to stitch a kurta? The cloth needed to, uh, to stitch a kurta is 3 meter 25 centimeter. So, firstly, we will convert this meter into centimeter. We will make the units same. Now, you know that in 1 meter, there are 100 centimeters. Therefore, 3 meters is equals to 3 into 100 centimeter plus 25 centimeter. Now, 300 centimeter plus 25 centimeter is equals to 325 centimeter. Now, cloth needed to stitch salwar is equals to what? How much is how much it is given? 2 meter 35 centimeter. Now convert also, uh, this also in centimeters. You know that in 1 meter there are 100 centimeters. Therefore, 2 meter is equals to 2 into 100 centimeter. 2 into 100 centimeter is equals to 200 centimeter. And 200 centimeter plus 35 centimeter is equals to 235 centimeters. Now, cloth needed to stitch 4 salvars. Now, cloth needed to stitch 1 salvar is 235 centimeter. So, cloth needed to stitch 4 salvars is equals to 235 into 4. Multiply 235 by 4 in rough column. So, 5 4s are 20. Here we will write 0. 2 will be carried. 3 4s are 12. 12 plus 2 14. 4 we will write here and 1 will be carried. 2 4s are 8 and 8 plus 1 will give us 9. So, this will be equals to 940 centimeter. Same way, cloth needed to stitch 3 kurtas. To stitch 1 kurta, cloth needed is 325 centimeter. So, to stitch 3 kurtas we will multiply it by 3. So, 325 multiply by 3 will gives us 3 fives are 15. We will write 5 here and 1 will be carried. 2 threes are 6. 6 plus 1 7. And 3 threes are 9. 975 centimeter. Now, total cloth bought. Read the question. Total cloth bought is... How much? She bought 50 meters of cloth. So, total cloth bought is 50 meter. You know, in one, one meter, there are 100 centimeters. So, we will convert this also into centimeters. 50 into 100 centimeter will give us 5000 centimeter. Total cloth needed is equals to Cloth needed to stitch 4 salvars plus cloth needed to stitch 3 kurtas. We will add 940 centimeter and 975 
सेंटीमीटर एट दिस इन रफ नाइन फोर्टी प्लस नाइन सेवेंटी फाइव एट दिन जीरो प्लस फाइव विल गिव्स अस फाइव फोर प्लस सेवन विल गिव्स अस इलेवन वन हियर वी विल राइट एंड वन विल बी कैरेट वन प्लस नाइन टेन टेन प्लस नाइन नाइनटीन सो वन थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड फिफ्टीन सेंटीमीटर वन थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड फिफ्टीन सेंटीमीटर इज द टोटल क्लोथ नीडेड एंड दे आर आस्किंग क्लोथ लेफ्ट दैट विल बी गिवन बाय टोटल क्लोथ बॉट दैट इज फाइव थाउजेंड सेंटीमीटर माइनस टोटल क्लोथ नीडेड दैट इज वन थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड फिफ्टीन सेंटीमीटर नाउ सब प्राप्त फाइव थाउजेंड माइनस वन थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड फिफ्टीन Now five cannot be subtracted from zero, so we will carry. It will become ten. This will become nine. This will become nine, and this will become four. Ten minus five, five. Nine minus one, eight. Nine minus nine, zero. Four minus one, three. So three thousand eighty-five centimeter. And see what they are saying. What they are asking? Will there be enough cloth? Yes, there is enough. cloth yes there is enough cloth if yes how much will be left and this is the cloth left and if no how much more will be required so for this we will not write anything because they are asking if the cloth cloth is left then how much it will be left i hope it is clear to you now Next, I have taken is question number fourteen of the same exercise. It says that in an election, candidate A won by a margin of two lakh forty five thousand ninety eight votes against his rival candidate B, who managed to get only thirty four thousand five hundred nine votes. Find the total number of votes. polled by the winning candidate so we can solve this uh, problem very simply we just need to add the candidate b votes with the candidates a margin number of votes and we will get the answer now candidate a margin number of votes is 245098 and votes scored by candidate b are 34500 Nine. Therefore, total number of votes polled by the winning candidate will be given by the sum. Add them. Eight plus nine. Eight plus nine will gives us seventeen. So we will write seven here, and one will be carried. One plus nine, ten. Ten plus zero, ten. So here we will write zero, and one will be carried. One plus zero, one, and one plus five. Six, five plus four, nine. Four plus three, seven, and two will be written as it is. So total number of votes polled by the winning candidate is two lakh seventy nine thousand six hundred seven. I hope question number fourteen is also clear to you. Now. Next, I have taken question number six of exercise one e for revision. It says that write in descending order. Some of the Roman numerals are given to you, and you have to write these Roman numerals in descending order. So, firstly, please convert these Roman numerals into Hindu Arabic numerals. See, the first one is X L. you know that x is smaller than l so in such a case we will subtract the smaller one from the greatest one the greatest one is l and l stands for 50 and x stands for 10 so 50 minus 10 will gives us 40 see the next one it is triple x vi you know triple x means 30 Because x can be repeated three times, and x stands for ten. So ten plus ten plus ten is thirty, and v v stands for five, 
and I stands for 1. So, 30 plus 5 plus 1 will give us 36. See the next one. It is L, X, V. L stands for 50, X stands for 10 and V stands for 5. So, 50 plus 10 plus 5 will give us 65. Next is X, I, X. Now, X means 10 and I, X I means I X means 10 minus 1. So 10 minus 1 is 9. 10 plus 9 will give us 19. C stands for 100. Now and X C. X C means from 100, 10 is subtracted and 100 minus 10 will give us 90. C stands for 100 and triple X stands for 30. So, 100 plus 30 will give us 130. See the next one. It is XC. XC means what? 100 minus 10 and double I. It means 2. 100 minus 10 means 90 plus 2. Now, 90 plus 2 will give us 92. See, next is triple C and C Stands for 100. So this means triple C is equals to 300. See the next one. It is IV. IV means 5 minus 1. That is 4. D stands for 500. CD. CD means what? 500 minus 100. L means 50. And X means 10. 500 minus 100, 400, 50 plus 10, 60. So, 400 plus 60, 460. See the next one. It is CDLI. CD again, 500 minus 100. L means 50. I means 1. So, 500 minus 100, 400. 50 plus 1, 51. So, 400 plus 51 is equals to 450. 1. Next is DL. D stands for 500. L stands for 50. And 500 plus 50 is 550. Next is DL. Triple X. D stands for 500. L stands for 50. And triple X means 30. So 500 plus 50 plus 30 will give us 580. Now, we want to arrange them in descending order. Descending means bigger to smaller. So, out in all these numbers, if I will see the greatest one is 580, so it will come at first place. After 580, we are having 550. So, this will come at second place. After that, we are having 500. Right? So, this will come at third place. Now, after 500, we are having 460. It will come at fourth place. After this, if you will observe, we are having 451. So, 451 will come at fifth place. After this, see what number will come at the 6th place? 6th place, we are having 300. So, 300 will come at the 6th place. And at the 7th place, which number will come? At the 7th place, 130. And at the 8th place, at the 8th place, we are having 100. And at the ninth place, ninth place, we are having 92. And after that, after 92, which number will come? 90. 90 at the tenth place. After that, at eleventh place, which number will come? Sorry. Eleventh place, 65. I think 65 will come. Yes. 12th place, what will come at 12th place? 
what will come 40 40 will come at the 12th place and after that what will come 13th place 36 will come 14th place 19 will come and at the 15th place 4 will come so write these num uh, write these roman numerals according to their places now in descending order in descending order dl triple x is greater than dl is greater than d is greater than cd lx is greater than where is the fifth cd li where is the six triple c is greater than c triple x is greater than uh, c is greater than where is the ninth one x c double i is greater than x c is greater than l x v is greater than x l is greater than triple x v i is greater than x i x is greater than i v i hope this question is also clear to you Hopefully it is clear to you. So after understanding this, you will able to solve the questions written in the home task which is attached in the description in PDF form. And with this, our chapter number one, Knowing Our Numbers is over. And in the next video, we will start with the next chapter. I hope you like the video. And for any doubts or queries, you can leave the message in the comment section. Thank you.